General Mills Monster Cereal has been around for quite a while, and so I thought I would finally try it. I have never had any of these monster cereals, but I saw an article about the artwork, and I really enjoy the art this year. Well, since they're bringing it back. And I had read an article about it, and since I've never tried them, I decided to get all four and try them out. So I'm not sure which one I want to try this morning, but I am going to use protein powder over top of it because I am trying to have a higher protein diet lately. So let's get into it. I guess we should start with... Let's do Fruit Brute, because Fruit Brute has been out of circulation for quite a while. The others, Frankenberry, Boo Berry, and Count Chocula, have been staples of it. So Fruit Brute is an artificially cherry-flavored sweetened cereal with monster marshmallows. It's 160 calories for 41 grams. So this is... Let's try it out. I'm gonna get the food scale. I just wanna say, opening the large box, you can just get like this fruity cereal with. smells super, super sweet. Okay. I haven't had it in a really, really long time, but I'd say the marshmallows taste like, um, Lucky Charms, so not too crazy. Let's pour out our 41, yeah, 41 grams. So 41 grams is actually a very reasonable amount of cereal, like quite a bit. So I'm going to first try it dry, like I, I tried the marshmallow, so I'm going to try one of the little cherry pieces. It looks like a ghost, like it has the rounded shape. Oops. It's hard to show you, but it's a rounded shape with little... It almost looks like a tulip if you have it upside down with little holes in it, like eyes. So I'm going to try a piece. It's really nice. <laughs> I'll explain. Some cereals, I feel like you don't want to snack on them. Like, they aren't pleasant when you don't have them with milk. It's a very pleasant cereal. It's not overly cherry, I'd say. It's more of just like a generic fruity cereal taste. Not like a Fruit Loop where you get kind of like multi-flavor, but just like a one-note, easy eating cereal. Like, it's not overly cherry. Maybe that'll change. Obviously, I'm not going to be having it with milk since I want to have a higher protein, but I'm going to be using a protein powder shake over top. But I'm very impressed with how, how much cereal is in a serving for 160 calories. The, obviously the macros are carb heavy, but it is 1.5 grams of fiber. I mean, 1.5 grams of fat. 35 grams of carbs and 2 grams of protein, which is sort of what I would expect from a 
standard cereal. So I'm going to put on some of my protein shake. This is just a whey protein. It's vanilla ice cream flavor. So. I really like it. It has a very satisfying cereal crunch. It, to me, at least, it's not overly in-your-face sweet, even with the marshmallows. But it's not overly cherry. Like, if I did not know that this was supposed to be a cherry cereal, I wouldn't even think cherry. And, I, and like, even tasting it, I'm not sure I'm getting cherry, but it's really good. It's satisfyingly crunchy. It's almost like a, I think it's a corn, yeah, it's a corn cereal. So very standard mouthfeel. Mm -hmm. This is a really good cereal if you like slightly fruity, crunchy, not like a it's not like kicks, but sort of like that crunchy corn cereal. Mm -hmm. I think this is a really fun cereal. Obviously, a lot of the fun is from it being a seasonal type cereal, but I quite enjoy it. I think that it's nice, at least artificial cherry can come off like cough syrupy, so I'm glad that it's very neutral, but I like it, and tomorrow I will be trying another one of these flavors, so stay tuned and see you tomorrow. Hello! So yesterday we tried out Fruit Brute, and today I think we're going with Boo Berry, which is artificially flavored artificially berry flavored sweetened cereal with monster marshmallows. The iconic ghost. Obviously it doesn't specify a berry, but the purpley color and that it's called Boo Berry almost brings up the thought of blueberries. And even in the artwork a little bit between the letters it looks like little blueberries floating. So first we're gonna mix up our protein shake because I am eating all of them with the same protein. For consistency and because I am trying to have a high protein diet. Higher protein diet. I'm just gonna move that out of the way. Shake it up. So if you're curious, this cereal has the same exact nutritional facts, it appears, as Fruit Brute. The cereal is in the same shape, although obviously a different color. And this one really seems to have an emphasis on there being at least that shaped marshmallows. So, just a reminder, 160 calories, the total fat is 1.5 grams. Total carb, 35 grams, and protein, 2 grams. So definitely carb heavy as you would expect, and it is a corn-based cereal. The serving size is 41 grams again, so let's get that weighed out. smells less fruity compared to the fruit fruit. Yeah, it's not as fruity when you take a whiff as fruit fruit seemed to be. So. We've got 
a little batty marshmallow. It almost feels like that marshmallow is sweeter, but I don't know if it's just because I've been drinking coffee so recently. Whereas the bitter of the coffee is helping amplify my thought. It's the same exact shape as Fruit Brute. Yeah, and at least eating it plain, it's not an overly fruity cereal. You can definitely tell it's a corn cereal by the texture, which is nice, crisp, airy almost. So I just sort of sucked on that piece a little before I started crunching, and you could tell there was a little bit more of a berry flavor that way. So I'm just gonna get this food scale out of the way, and I'll show you. It's actually a pretty decent sized serving of cereal. I feel like that's kind of impressive because when I think of serving a cereal, I'm thinking a lot smaller portion compared to what I would pour in a bowl, and this looks like what I would probably pour in a bowl. So I'm gonna pour in some of my protein shake. So, yesterday, I didn't show it because it was after it went off camera, but Fruit Brew did actually turn the protein shake pink. So, so I'm going to take a good spoonful, and here we go. I think it's probably wise that they don't specify what berry, because like with Fruit Brute it says cherry, but you don't really think cherry when you eat it. And the same with this, I wouldn't necessarily think blueberry, other than the name giving me the thought of blueberries. But it is sort of a nice berry flavor once you add your milk, or in this case protein. So yeah, I think it's a pretty good cereal. I. It's the similar mouthfeel as Fruit Brute, so can't complain there. I like that. I like that it is, it's good on its own, like you could eat it as a snack dry, which I assume plenty of people do, but it's also like the flavor is not necessarily improved, but more obvious that it's berry-y once you add your liquid of choice, so. I'm gonna finish eating this. Um, I think that I can't really give a conclusive on how it stacks up against Fruit Brute at this time, but at the end of the video I'm going to compare all of them. Obviously Count Chocula might be a different kind of contender because it is a chocolate cereal as opposed to a fruity cereal, so I think I'll probably give you a breakdown of not only these cereals and how they stack up in my mind against each other, but also maybe some of my other cereals that are my go-to, so you get an idea of my cereal taste. So that's all for today, and tomorrow we will go over... Just a short little update here, I'm just checking in to say I've lost 15 pounds now. As of this morning, I weighed 15 pounds down from when I started tracking my weight and tracking my calories and macros. So I think that's pretty amazing that I've been able in about 51 days or so go down 15 pounds in total. That's all I really had to say. I just thought it was kind of awesome that I'm really steadily getting towards my goal. So yeah, see you later. Hello, it's another day and another cereal, and today it is Frankenberry. I 
And at last we have arrived to Count Chocula. But before I get into that, yesterday's footage did not transfer properly to my computer, so I'm just going to give a little recap on Frankenberry. I found that it didn't really taste like strawberry. It still had the same exact nutritional content and serving size as Fruit Brute and Boo Berry, but it was still a very satisfying fruity cereal. Uh, in that clip that didn't make it, I took a piece of Fruit Brute, Frankenberry, and Boo Berry, and compared all three of them all three pieces to each other to see if there was a discernible difference between the three. Obviously it was not a blind test, but I felt like when you have the three cereals together and you compare them directly, there is a very discernible difference between the three cereals. Um, they all have the same shape, so there's even Count Chocula has the same shape, so there's not really more that I can say on that. I find the cereal very satisfying, crunchy. I enjoy it quite a bit. But when you are having, like I have, one bowl of each and it's three days in a row of fruity cereal, there isn't a discernible difference between them in that regard. If you have the pieces right next to each other, yes, there's a discernible difference. But one bowl a day over three days, all three of them essentially taste the same in my memory. There isn't, like, one that stands out of, like, ooh, Boo Berry is the discernible best of these three fruity flavors. So I'd say they are all together a B-tier cereal. They are all delightful. I love them all. I do like fruitier cereals. One of my favorites is Fruit Loops. But I also like very bland cereals like Grape Nuts. So, be it what it will. I'll put a little infographic at the end of sort of my cereal ratings, like I promised. But anyway, let's get into Count Chocula. Like I said, it's the same shape as before. It is chocolatey cereal of monster marshmallows. So there he is. I absolutely love the artwork for all of them. So first off, Count Chocula is the only one with a different serving size. It is 36 grams instead of 41. It is the only one with a differing in nutritional label also, or nutritional facts. So it for 36 grams of cereal, it is 140 calories. The fat is 1.5 grams. Carbs is 31 grams, whereas the fruity cereals were 35 grams and then the protein is two grams of protein again. So only slightly different calorie and carb wise as well as the serving size is slightly smaller. I think 41 grams for the fruity cereal is like a perfect bowl size. So I've got my bowl, I've got my food scale, and got my protein shake. overly chocolatey smelling. It almost is like when you smell an Oreo. Oops. So 36 grams of cereal. Oops. And overshot. So it is still a decent amount of cereal, just slightly less than the other two. So, yeah, it doesn't smell overly chocolatey. But it does taste near identical to chocolate Rice Krispies, even though it is a corn cereal. Looks like the cereal has more of a ghost shape marshmallow. Has a little swirl on it. Same marshmallow as all the other cereals, so let's try it with my shake. Mm. 
And Frankenberry also once again changed the color of the protein shake at the end. tastes very much like a cocoa pebble or cocoa puff. It is a very satisfying crunch again. Same shape, still corn cereal. It, I am very impressed that all of the monster cereals, at least to me, are not overly sweet. This is like a perfect amount of sweetness. It is just a pretty standard chocolate cereal, just like the others were a pretty standard fruity cereal. But I really, really like them. I think they're very satisfying. And at least with a protein shake, they have longevity. Obviously a lot of that does come from the protein balancing out, that it's so carb heavy. But I am thoroughly impressed by all of the monster cereals. So I think I would get all of them again. But for now, I've got plenty of monster cereal with four boxes now open. So I'm going to eat this for breakfast, and thank you so much for watching. I hope you have a fantastic rest of your day. If you like this video, please subscribe. If you're interested, I do have a video on my current diet, so I will have that linked in the iCard at the end. And so thank you so much for watching. I hope you have a fantastic rest of your day.